All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise on and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing and salutation to the hopeful leg out there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful leg, the believers. The listeners who have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh Bashima Shah. And what I want to get into real quick, you know, pretty much a message, you know, to the new believers, you know, as we have, you know, um, <laughs> this ongoing spiritual war, you know, between, you know, um, the true doctrine, you know, and pretty much every other doctrine in the earth, you know, and you're going to have our people that's going to come from all doctrines. And, you know, we all come from, you know, this American. All right, this Roman Greco American culture, you know, which pretty much, you know, pushes, you know, um, self righteousness. You know, you pretty much govern yourself by emotions. You know how you feel at the moment. You know, there's no, you know, order. There's no standard, and we all came from that culture. You know, so just a quick message, you know, to new believers, you know, men and women, to understand that we're being put back in order, and with that, there's a certain conduct. You know, there's a uh, uh, required, you know, as we, you know, as you um new believers start getting on to these um live streams and, you know, on the comment boards, you know. Now, when you go to Psalms 50 and uh, 21, because what's happening is prophecy, you know, us getting in order as men and women, okay, of Israel, is prophecy, all right? When you go to Psalms 50 and 21, it says, These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was all together, such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thy eyes. Okay? And what's happening is we're being set in order in front of the eyes of the whole earth. Okay? We're not acting niggas and, and thugs and coons and, you know, no, we're acting as Israelite men, upstanding men. Okay? Women are not acting, you know, as thoughts and, you know, hot girls. Okay? They're humbling down, you know, and getting in order, okay? And that's happening in front of everyone. And see, that's what has these people going crazy. See, vocab, okay, he has nothing to say against the deaf culture that has been pushed on our people, okay? He, he's not studying the numbers on that. He's not doing the statistics, okay, about the wickedness and the deaf culture that, 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 that this society has given our people, you know, but us repenting is a problem, <laughs> okay, and with that, there comes a conduct, now, what I want to get real quick, Corinthians 14, all right, 1 Corinthians 14 and 40, all right, 144, all right, it says, let all things be done decently and in order, okay, and as we you know, teach this word, there's a certain order, there's a certain conduct, all right, that's required, you know, from you, you know, you brothers and sisters that listen, okay, even, you know, brothers that teach, even when we get on other, you know, um, brothers live screen, there's a certain conduct, all right, that we must have, man, okay, this thing is all about order on all levels, okay, now when you go in the order, the Greek word is, 2010 toxis okay toxis all right it says it says um the post it says rank or position which one holds in civic or other affairs an arrangement an arrangement okay and that's what this thing is about you know and that's why there's rank you know in different positions within the body for the sake of order you know not for the sake of us lording over each other okay and making you know Jake our servant, so you know, no, it's it's, the, it's for the sake of order, and we serve each other, you know, within the ministry, man. Okay, but there's a certain order that 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 we're coming under, man. Even, you know, like I say, even that um, even amongst the camps, all right, there's an order, okay, and there's a certain conduct that comes, you know, with that order, okay, and that's what we're then that's. What's putting us, that's what's making us a nation is this order, okay, as we talk about nation building. Now, let's go here to um, 
Ecclesiastes chapter 5, all right, verse 1. You know, and this is, you know, geared towards, you know, the new brothers, you know, the new sisters that's coming in. Okay, this is the mindset to have. It says, keep thy foot when thou goest, all right, to the house of the Most High, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of foods, because what we have to understand is how Bashim al Shah said he doesn't dwell within temples made by hands, but he dwells in us. And Yahweh Shah said that where the two or three are gathered in my name, he is there also. So when you see these live screens going, okay, you're in the presence of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. And what's being set up is a spiritual altar. These live screens. You know, these are spiritual altars, man. Okay, this is serious business that's going on. You know, this is not, you know, a, 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 a red pill discussion. Okay, this is not Dr. Umar Johnson and, you know, these different things. No, this is serious business that's going on, man. Okay? And there's an order, all right, when you go into the Levites, and the, and the tedious order that they had to, you know, stick to. Hey, the Most High is very particular about his order, man. Now, we have grace. And look, like I said, we all come from cultures that didn't have standards in order. We wasn't, you know, conditioned to be like this. We wasn't, you know, groomed to be in order. But we're learning, you know. And this is just a thing of putting a perspective out there, okay. Because you can, you know, you can have, you can be sincere, Okay, and just jump on the live screen and get to talking and rambling. You're putting a sacrifice of a fool on the altar, man. Because you don't know what's going on. Okay, you don't fully know. You woke up two weeks ago and you're trying to add to, you know, a, a, a dialogue of men that have been here for years, man. Okay, and you might think you know something about something, but you off. And now... That you don't offer that sacrifice of a fool. Now, brother has to clean that up. You know, you think you knew something and you don't put it out there. And now it's on the coming board. Now, a brother has to try to clean that up. He had to stop teaching and try to clean that up, man. You know, be mindful, man. You should be in the spirit of just listening. You know, if you just coming into this thing, if you, you know, woke up last week, other than asking a sincere question. You shouldn't be trying to add to, you know, the dialogue, man. You know, verse um, two says, be not rash with thy mouth and let not thy heart be hasty. <clears throat> OK, to utter a thing before the most high. Yeah, you shouldn't be just listening and waiting on a, 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 a time when you can interject. You know, you just waiting for an opening, you know, when you can interject, man. Be not rash. OK, even, you know. And that's discipline. You have to practice being silence, man. You know, I remember a sister left that on the comment board. You know, one time, you know, you had a sister that was kind of chatty, you know, and she made the comment. You got to practice being silent, man. That's a, that's a, that's that's something you have to practice. OK, when you want to say something, knowing, OK, I, it, I, it's not it's not it's out of time, you know, because even with us. You know, as we as we teach in these camps, you know, we learn, you know, one thing I'm learning is, look, if the point made there's you know, sometimes you, I don't always have to add to the point. You know, there's a time to add. It's a time to fall back. The point been made. Let the spirit flow to something else, man. So we all we are, we're learning on all levels, man. The new believers, you know, brothers that, you know, have been in uh, a couple years, brothers that, you know, have been in, you know, several years. You know, we're all learning, okay, uh, about order. You know, there's levels to it, man. But this is mainly for the new believers. You know, when you come on these coming boards, you know, be mindful and be not so hasty to try to add to the dialogue and speak. Especially if you're a woman, you shouldn't be saying anything, man. You know, you should be listening, man. These sisters that you see on the coming board, they've been here for years. So if you don't see them, uh, 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 you know, doing a lot of talking and chatting and adding all these, you know, opinions and, you know, uh, trying to add to dialogue. You shouldn't be doing it, man. OK, if you don't know what to do, you should watch people that been here. <laughs> OK. And another thing like um, these moderators, 
whenever, you know, for you new believers, when you see a brother, when you see um a, a avatar, you know, in the, in, the, in the brother name and he has a tool beside his name and he's in and it's highlighted in blue. That means that he's a moderator and he has been appointed moderator by whoever channel, you know, that is that you're on. OK, and he's set up to get rid of scoffers, which are distractions and keep order on the comment board so it won't be a distraction. You see, and if that moderator tells you something, you hey, fall back and listen to that moderator. It shouldn't take that brother having to stop teaching and making the points that he's making and going to what he's going into to get order on the comment board. Now, you're going to have demons. OK, but for, you know, you sincere believers, if a moderator is telling you something that that's what he set up to do. OK, to kind of coordinate the comment board to keep down confusion and keep the edification flowing. OK. So we have to, you know, continue to get more in order for the growth and more edification, man. To come out. OK. And as I know one thing about the society, it has, you know, pretty much, you know, belittled the authority of, of the Israelite men, you know, so-called Negro, Latino, the Native Americans, man. OK, and you just have to you have to be down there superstar to get any respect, you know, for authority as, 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 as Israelite men, you know, and even then you'll be through. OK, with certain situations. But nevertheless, man, those men. You know, there has to be a certain reverence, okay, for Israelite men within this ministry, man. Just an Israelite man in general that's a believer, all right, as women, you should have a certain reverence for each and individual, each and every individual Israelite men, you know, that's sincere, especially those men that you've seen been moderators for years, man, and, you know, doing their job, man, you know? So when those men, you know, uh, tell you to, you know, post scriptures or, you know, uh, sister, you talking too much, fall back. OK, you, you should reverence that, man. You know, and it's all about order and see, it's going to pay off for everybody in the long run. We all going to win, man. You know, so I just want to touch on that. Lord, will you brothers and you few souls edify until next time I say shalom.